Hello all, my name is Deepu Tala, Vice President of Embedded and Edge Computing at NVIDIA. Welcome to the SD Edge AI Summit. I would like to share two things with you today that will help you drastically cut down the development time and expense for deploying Edge AI while delivering high performance and accuracy. AI has been transforming every industry and use case in the past couple of years. This trend is only accelerating from IT world, information technology world, first to the OT world, operation technology world now. I imagine many of you are focused on manufacturing and industrial use cases and looking to help your customers deploy Edge AI in an effective manner. But it's not quite been an easy journey yet. Let me show you the two important ways in how we can help you. ST themselves have been partnering with NVIDIA to bring these technologies to the STM32 platform to help you solve your customer problems. To deploy AI, there are two computers necessary. The left computer is the AI factory, where the creation and training of the AI model happens. This process can go on throughout the life of the AI model, depending on the use case. The AI model can be continuously improved so that it gets better and better, more accurate, more performant, more generalizable, and so on. Some applications might demand the AI model to be fine-tuned 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year. For example, if you're operating a fleet of self-driving cars or autonomous mobile robots that are marching towards the goal of full autonomy. On the other end of the spectrum, the AI model only needs to be updated occasionally. And as a result, retraining happens periodically. For example, a simple smart camera that needs to recognize specific individuals or a home vacuum cleaner that needs to adapt to your home floor plan. The right computer is where the AI model that has been created and trained on the left computer is deployed. The right computer can be in the cloud or data center, for example, ChatGPT today. Or it can be in an on-premises server, for example, defect inspection for a high-speed semiconductor manufacturing line. Or the right computer can be in an autonomous machine with multiple sensors, such as 4 to 8 cameras, multiple 2D LIDARs, optional 3D LIDAR, IMU, and others, for example, an AMR or the right computer can be in a mobile device, or a PC, or the thousands of diverse AIoT devices using microcontrollers, such as the STM32. In today's talk, we'll show you the two things running on the left computer that make the job of the right computer far easier. One of the anecdotes that many companies point to about deploying AI is that they're stuck in POC land for a long time and many times don't get to production. This is particularly true for manufacturing and industrial use cases for several reasons. First, the issue is that accuracy of the AI model for solving the problem at hand. AI models need lots of data, label data. This can be an expensive, time-consuming process. There might be privacy issues in collecting the data. In some cases, defects are rare and we might not have that in the training data set. Or, how do you mo AI model you train on a normal day behave with different lighting and weather conditions. Second issue is what is the starting point for the AI model? AI is constantly evolving, too many model choices and not easy to decide. Do you use a CNN, convolution neural network, or should you use the latest generative AI model? Which network topology should you use? Is there a way to do applied engineering versus spending a lot of time in research? Third issue is that devices on the edge do not have the luxury of seemingly unlimited compute that you get in the cloud. These devices have limited compute and memory budgets. Typical model that's designed for the data center or cloud most likely does not run on an edge device. You need something which is smaller, yet efficient and accurate. Okay, I told you that we have two ways in which we can help you with. Let's dive into the first one. Real data is expensive and doesn't cover all scenarios. Simulation is increasingly important. Synthetic data, one important output of simulation, can bridge your data gap. We can generate lots of data with simulation and generative AI. It can not only increase the size of the dataset, but also can give you a very diverse dataset, 
all generated with simple scripts or prompts. You can simulate all kinds of lighting conditions, background, texture, color, number of objects, camera angle, position, etc. In addition, generative AI with stable diffusion can then enhance your synthetically generated images and make it more real, closing the sim to real gap. Also, the added benefit of synthetic data generation is that you don't need to spend a lot of time and money with data annotations. All images are labeled and can be used right away for training. NVIDIA Omniverse is a computing platform that enables individuals and teams to develop 3D workflows and applications. NVIDIA Omniverse Replicator is a core extension of the Omniverse platform that lets developers easily build custom synthetic data generation tools and pipelines. You can now have a faster way to generate physically accurate synthetic data for training computer vision AI models and networks. With Omniverse Replicator, you can bootstrap your computer vision model training process by quickly prototyping with synthetic data across a multitude of domains before training on real data. You can increase model accuracy by generating diverse photoreal and physically accurate training data by varying lighting, object poses, scenes, and more. You can generate large datasets quickly by easily scaling across multi-GPU, multi-node compute resources, either on-premise or in the cloud. You can, of course, address privacy issues and reduce bias by generating diverse datasets to represent the real world. And now with generative AI, we can make this even easier by simply using natural language to guide the data generation. Applying textures and lighting, not through technical artists, but rather by simple prompting. Now let's see in practice how simulation and synthetic data generation come together to create photorealistic datasets. Using Omniverse Replicator, create a simulation of an object such as a forklift, and then easily develop different perspectives of the forklift that can be used to train your AI models. This just doesn't limit to a single object. You can simulate a whole retail store, factory, or even a warehouse. You can simulate all kinds of lighting conditions, color, different camera angles, and a wide range of environments such as office, parking lot, and more. And now, with generative AI, we can make this even easier by simply using natural language to guide the data generation. You create an initial simple image in Omniverse. Then, using stable diffusion, you can apply different textures, lighting, or environments using just text prompts and easily creating a wide range of datasets. Amazon Robotics is leveraging Omniverse to train its fleets of autonomous warehouse robots. These robots need to move through facilities using advanced safety and navigation technology. Using Omniverse, Amazon Robotics was able to create a large photoreal synthetic dataset that improved the market detection to 98% for the warehouse robots. Omniverse helped Amazon Robotics to optimize operations using synthetic data and save time and money as they deploy these warehouse robots across their facilities. Now, let's talk about the second tool we can help you with. The label data that has been synthetically created with Omniverse Replicator along with real-world data is fed into the second tool as input. This tool is named TAU, stands for Train, Adapt, and Optimize. Tau is an open source, low code AI toolkit. With Tau, you have the access to the best and latest AI without being an AI expert. Best capabilities are coming in from research from a fluid and fast moving AI world. You can apply transfer learning on a large catalog of NVIDIA optimized models to customize for any use case. And the zero coding nature of Tau allows you to not needing to learn new model architectures or read research papers and having to implement suboptimal time-consuming workflows. Best of all, you can deploy this to any device from small MCUs to large-scale deployment. Tau has turnkey optimizations for pruning, wherein you reduce the number of parameters in a model without sacrificing accuracy, and it also does quantization during training to run at lower precision, such as int8, to deliver high performance. Let's take a look at the entire Tau stack. At the bottom are the various deep learning frameworks that are used by Tau, TensorFlow and PyTorch for training, and Onyx and TensorRT for inference. 
With DAO, you can do basic training and optimization, but you can also do auto ML, ability to do smart hyperparameter optimization instead of manual experimentation. Data diversity is important in any training, and with DAO, you can do online and offline augmentation to increase data diversity and generalize your model better. Recently, we have added an AI-assisted annotation for segmentation use cases, where manual annotation is extremely expensive and slow. On top of this are simple APIs to access any of the underlying Tau services. We have recently opened up Tau APIs as an NVIDIA-managed offering, currently available under early access. But you can also deploy Tau service on your own infrastructure, either on-prem or cloud, and get the same benefits as the hosted APIs. Several hundreds of companies are using Tau to accelerate their AI model creation. Let me tell you about some of them. PepsiCo used Tau for deploying AI models in their warehouse to improve efficiency and accuracy in the distribution process. Pegatron used Tau to quickly update its defect defection models and achieve 99.8% accuracy on its optical inspection systems, starting with small datasets. Bengaluru Airport, one of the busiest airports in India, leveraged Tau to accelerate AI development and deployed the solution in just three months. ExxonMobil used Tau to experiment with different AI models for worker safety to quickly converge on the final solution. Siemens used Omniverse Replicator to create synthetic data and Tau for training industrial inspection systems. City of Denver combined its proprietary developed traffic data set with pre-trained traffic CamNet model from NVIDIA and Tau to reduce the development timeline. Costa Group used its own custom data set and NVIDIA's pre-trained model YOLO 4 with Tau to develop its computer vision system. And lastly, National Heavy Vehicle Regulator used Tau for fast-tracking the AI model development and defining the accuracy and optimize the model performance to power their object detection application. Tau Toolkit is so widely adopted because of its ease of use that leads to drastically cutting down the time to market. You can choose from 100 plus pre-trained models from traditional CNNs to newer architectures like vision transformers and generative AI models. Tau offers models for 10 plus vision AI modalities, including classification, detection, several types of segmentation, optical character recognition, Siamese, and many more covering industries across retail, traffic, industrial, and manufacturing. Tau can optimize the performance size, size of the model for inference by providing pruning and quantization techniques. By applying pruning, you can reduce the model size by more than 8x, which can give greater than 2x increase in inference performance. You go from a model which might not fit on a tiny MCU product to running at reasonable performance by applying the optimization techniques in Tau. Best of all, you don't need to even write a single line of code. It's just a simple API call to the Tau service. In the last 12 months, generative AI has revolutionized text and natural language processing. The chat GPT moment has been noted as the iPhone moment of AI. Very soon, we are at the tipping point of that same technology coming to computer vision. Previously unsolvable computer vision problems with traditional CNNs seem solvable with generative AI algorithms. Whilst CNNs have been improving continuously and tools like Omniverse Replicator and Tau Toolkit cut down the development time, CNNs suffer from fundamental disadvantages. They're rigid and do not generalize well. Generative AI models generalize rather well, achieving higher accuracy than CNNs, and applications are built using natural prompts or text. But the disadvantage of generative AI models is that they tend to be computationally expensive relative to CNNs. However, the sheer prospect of generative AI models solving problems previously unsolved is all the reason for edge AI devices to consider generative AI models along with CNNs. Now, we're bringing the lot of generative AI models for computer vision in the Tau Toolkit. These foundation models are very general purpose and can be quickly fine-tuned for a large number of tasks. In Tau, we are adding a zero-shot panoptic segmentation model such as Odyssey. 
Unlike traditional vision models, where the output is one of the few classes that the model was trained on, with zero-shot inference, it can predict any classes with reasonable accuracy. You don't need a fully custom model for each individual use case. For example, if your original CNN-based model was trained to detect and classify two-wheelers and four-wheelers, and we need to add three-wheelers, the CNN must be retrained with the three-wheeler label data again, whereas with Odyssey, it will automatically detect three-wheelers if prompted. In Tau, we are offering commercially viable foundation models with our NV Dino version 2. Tau can also be used to fine-tune public clip foundation model as well. Lots of new model architectures, and we will continue to invest in the latest and greatest AI. Foundation models generalize much better because they're trained on a very large selection of datasets. This makes these models more accurate for lots of industry use cases, much higher accuracy than traditional CNNs. Today, Tau has broad adoption consisting of silicon vendors, application partners, and MLOps partners. Leading MLOps and cloud services are leveraging Tau to improve their services and make it easy to use Tau. Integration with MLOps platforms like Weights and Biases and ClearML help streamline machine learning workflows, enable better tracking and experimentation in model training. You can use Tau for Edge Impulse's AI platform also. Tau is also integrated with various cloud Kubernetes or machine learning services such as Azure, AWS, and GCP. I'd like to end my talk on a recent collaboration between NVIDIA and ST Microelectronics. ST was able to take one of the pre-trained models and go through the entire training and optimization workflow using Tau and integrated the output model into the STM runtime engine. Results were simply mind-blowing, which made something that was not possible before. They were able to get a Vision AI model running on a STM32 microcontroller by reducing the memory footprint by 10 times. This gave a five times speed up in inference time. Now this model can be deployed on a MCU and do real-time inference at the edge. We are excited by this partnership and looking forward to helping STM customers deploy Vision AI models at the edge. Thank you for your time.